Hello everyone, welcome back to Chrysalis. In the last episode, I had a lot of problems recording and a lot of problems trying to figure out where the hell I needed to go. But thankfully, with the power of exploration, we found exactly what we needed, which is this little fog lamp here. Uh, now we gotta give it to that sailor, but first, I'm gonna stop off at the inn. It's a hundred dollars, but it's do totally worth it. But now we can finally, finally go where we need to go. I do give up, or I don't give up too easily, because look what I found! The owner accepts the fog lamp. You went into the cave to give this to me? You have great courage. Please use my boat as you like. Yay, I got the boat. I can't really do anything with this. There we go. His name is Kensu. Be quiet! I lost something, and I'm all mixed up. I'm on lookout to watch for Dragonia's attack. Okay, we have no, uh, we have no boat, but watch this. Now we got a dolphin. And we can ride him. Please hop on my back. I'll take you wherever you like. And the best part is we could fight while on the dolphin. This is why it's, uh, this is my favorite, uh, my second favorite area. First, still being Mount Saber, just because I love the theme. But this part, I love being able to do this. I remember where we need to go, but at this point, I want to get some grinding in, if you guys are cool with that. I just need to get that ex- uh, what, uh, element. Am I too low for you guys? Yeah, I'm too low. Can't fight you, sadly. I need to get there. That lighthouse right there, I need to get to. So let's go here. Take care. This is Joel Island. The next one to the west is Evil Spirit Island. How much are you? 120! Damn! You need to be rich to come here. What else is here? Uh... Yeah, they're just reusing assets from, uh, the first town. Clark, who is the Elder's brother, has not returned from the next island yet. Well, we'll be going to Evil Island soon. Huh? Oh, sorry. I zoned out for a minute. I'm Ralph, the Elder of Joel. Someone came from the next island and asked for a girl's sacrifice if we wished safety to our island. One from Porti Por uh, Portoa, Portoa volunteered. Though, she's monster prey by now. Uh, not if I have anything to say about it. The girl substituted from... from Portora is called Messia. I pray for her safety. You're not gonna let her die! I don't want to be a sacrifice. Where's my Uncle Clark? We all want to know where Clark is. <clears throat> Hold on. Since a woman sorcerer from Dragonia went to the next island, it's been weird. People have disappeared and strange monsters now live there. Okay, you have alarm flute, which is what we're going to need if I remember correctly. I think we're going to need that. It's expensive though. So there's no armor, because uh, Port Portoa gives uh, the best armor for this current moment. So let's get my dolphin friend back and go experience the evil island if we're strong enough. I just love how the monster is walking. It's just a fish man. Oh, got Kraken. I remember this area. Yep. Hey, look at that, we're back here. So this dude went all the way around the Kraken just to come meet me. I like it. I respect that. Okay, we're looking for a spot to stop on the island. Well, we found it. Oh, 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 okay. Oop. Actually, can I damage you guys? Nope. Oh, I'll take care, all right. I'm gonna get killed here. I am under-leveled for this place. 
Come on. I know you're coming. Yeah, this is where we need to be is this cave. I am either under leveled or not or don't have a weapon that can kill these guys. Okay, wind doesn't affect them. Yeah, I'm under leveled. It's okay. Let's see how far we can get with just this. If I need to, I will warp back to Por uh, Portoa and do a little bit of grinding. Because I'm, like, right there to leveling up. Oof. It's very stressful when you have a flying monster coming at you. He spammed that three times. Did y'all see that? Pardon if I'm uh, getting a little quiet. I'm just trying to focus on avoiding these guys. That mushroom is coming for me. Dragon demon. Flying creature of death. Okay, let's go down. It's hard to, f to avoid some of these enemies. I only have one hit left and I die. My heart is racing at this point because I'm just I'm just trying to survive because I can't fight anything in here. I literally do no damage. It has to be on that side. Okay, I guess that one doesn't work. Let's go down first. Maybe there's a chest down there. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna die in one hit. Ooh, that was a stupid idea. <clears throat> yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself stuff uh, after this episode. Oh, finally! Something I can destroy! You now have magic ring. But I don't need it right now, because that just replenishes uh, magic. And no, that's not the only reason I came to this island. No, I want as much health as I can get. No! It's very stressful when you have to go around so many enemies that you literally cannot kill. It's like a, it's like we're playing a horror game. You know, one of those that like you, all you can do is just run. But mark my words, by next week I will be so powerful they can't stop me. Come on, explosion of the rock. Let's see, is there anything in here? Is there anything in here? Ooh, that would have killed me. <clears throat> Actually, let's test that ther a theory. <clears throat> yep. Or, I mean, it wouldn't kill me, but it brought me back down to the that floor below. That's purple. I want to be able to kill you guys. I feel so weak. I mean, I am weak. I'm only level 7. Usually by now I'd be like level 10. But that's what the grind for the weekend is going to be. Whoop. No, oh, come on controller, stop doing that. Yep. Yeah. Wait, no, I need water. Come on. Because then I can do this. Boom. I now have the iron necklace, which is an actual object. Because you have... You have, um... Regular objects are the top row. 
quests, or I mean, uh, no, uh, items you need. Uh, no, sorry. Items, regular objects, quest objects, and then uh, magic. I need to see what those do. I can't remember. But whatever they do, we have it now. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna warp back to town. Because I'm not ready. Uh, go to Por uh, Portora. Portoa. <clears throat> Let's do this the right way. This episode is going to be our grinding episode. Because we are not ready for that. I mean, I'm right there to level 8. Look at that. 10-10. Ten, ten. Ten thirty-five. Ten sixty. Ow. That damage, though. I just want to get us to level 8. Haha! <laughs> Using the power of reverse time! Just to let you know, in the actual game, the actual Chrysalis, uh, you cannot reverse time. This is just the, uh, the SNK emulator doing that. But it does help because this game is unforgivable. It's such a great game, though. But it's one of those games that's like I I don't want to say it's like Dark Souls difficulty because I've beaten this game. The final, the what? Uh, not the final boss, but the boss before the final boss would be considered Dark Souls difficulty. So it's kind of like it, but it's not. It's not a. It's not Souls, but it, there's moments in this game that kind of feel like it. <clears throat> well, this game is very unforgiving if you're not prepared. Come on. Gotcha. Almost leveled up. <laughs> and then I need to get 2,000, I think, for uh, that armor, which we're definitely going to need. Look at that, 1415. We're so close. Look at that. I, I fixed my mistake. 1440. Come on, 1465. We're right there. Fifteen oh five. Yeah, for the rest of the day... Actually, no. Tomorrow, for the rest of the day, after I'm done with my... my, I already finished all my recordings and stuff for Sunday. I had to do that early. I'm going to grind on Chrysalis and uh, get stronger. There! Level 8. We almost got hit there. You know what? I'm gonna use refresh. How much does it cost for anything? Two thousand fifteen hundred. Damn. Well, it's time to test out and see if we can at least damage. Cause if we can at least damage, we're good. Then we can actually grind out here. Hello, my friend. Charging up. First, we're going to start with water. 
Water on a water creature. There's one over here. Okay. Fire on a water creature. Okay. Wind. Still not strong enough. So, we need to get stronger. Because we can't grind here yet. We're not ready. We're not strong enough. We need to get stronger. Here we go. Do a little bit of grinding. It's okay. It's gonna be way worse than what I have to do. Since this episode's almost over, might as well. By the time you guys see this next episode, two things will happen. One, I'll be joined by uh, by Neil again, so I can have a, a commentary buddy. Uh, and two, uh, I'll be at least level 12. I aim for level 12. Or whatever level is the one that I can actually damage those guys with. One, two, three, six, three. Wasn't there a stronger enemy? Oh yeah, the snake people. Let's grind them. Damn it. I suck at this. Oh god, these guys give me good XP too. Because I think they give me 35. We'll find out how fast we can grind with the snake people. Because we have our next destination. I just I just can't do it yet. I'm not I'm not strong enough. Snake people! Fight me! Ooh, went from 250 to 300. Yeah, this is where we're going to be grinding for a bit. We'll get there in no time. And look at that, we're already at 711. 761. We'll get that armor in no time. Yeah, this is the only time in the in the in the in the story that's going to be really slow paced. Because after this, we, after the water area, after the ocean, I'll, I'll say, we go to the desert, there's an ancient rune we go to, we fight the Dragon King, and then we go take on the, uh, actually, no, we do the ancient rune, then we go to Dragonia, fight the Dragon King, after you fight all of his minions, uh, then you go to the Tower in the Sky, and that's end game. So this is a, it's a short game, but it when it comes to the fact that you have to level up, it does take a while. Because I was able to technically beat it um, in about because I played it within a multiple days, but I only had like. Hmm. Maybe five hours on the SNK emulator. It's up to like it's up to like fourteen now because I've been playing it again. There's other games on here, by the way. I might play a few of them in the future as well. Um. But yeah, it's it's a short game, but very fun. And I could literally play it for hours if I had a good controller. I wanna, I wanna get a, I wanna get a NES controller. I, I own an actual NES controller, but I mean like, I want one that I can, uh... Hello there. Turn to stone. No! Bad snake person! I 
want to be able to play this with an actual NES controller because it, it just feels natural at that point. And look at that, we can already get the shield. But by the time I'm done, we'll be able to get the armor and the shield. They only take two big hits and they die. How dare you attack me! Charging. Oh. He didn't die from two. 1350. Come on. Yeah, after I edit and upload everything, because <laughs> I have about nine videos to edit and upload, because I'm missing one Majora's Mask at this current moment in time. Um, I was planning on recording it another day, but if, I, if I'm going to be free tomorrow, I might record it. Because it's my Thursday episode. Um, this is my Friday... Uh, five o'clock episode. I, I have everything scheduled because only for October I like to do extra videos because I have a... I want to keep the normal schedule but for October I want to do like games that just bring me good memories of October and I played this game a lot growing up and this is one of my favorite uh, NES games and I figured it's the perfect spot for a uh, Spooktober. Even if it's even if it's not a Halloween game the apocalypse in the game story takes place in October. So, it's forgiven. Because technically, if the apocalypse happened in October, then that means we're currently in October in game, but a hundred uh, plus years later. My god, it's Fallout, guys! There we go. This is, uh, this is Fallout Classic, guys. The true Fallout Classic. It's like, technically, this game, 100%, if, if you think about it, is like if you take the Elder Scrolls and, and mix Fallout together. Like, you, you, you take the, the, the world of Fallout, the, the post-apocalyptic future, and then you add the, the, the mythical creatures and magic and weaponry from, uh, Elder Scrolls and boom. You have Chrysalis. Boom, baby. Look at that, we can already get the armor. Man, we're, we're getting so strong, guys. We're already at 2100 def- uh, sorry, XP. 2150. I feel so strong. We are almost able to get the armor, or I mean the shield. Because we, we need to be at 3,400. And we should be able to afford the, um, both the shield and armor, which will give us a significant amount of defense. Like a massive freaking boost. Because that, that's like special armor. Then I can sell this uh, bronze armor I don't want. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. How much gold we get from them? 2911. <laughs> there we go. 3011. 
60. So we get 50 gold per kill. Yeah, we get 50 gold per kill, so only a few more kills and I'm good. It's funny, a lot of these older games required us to do a lot of math. There's nothing wrong with that. And, I, and I'm a guy who hates math. But for something like this, it's worth it because you're trying to you're trying to figure out the amount of damage you can uh, you can output with uh, get with your attacks, uh, how much defense. Oh my God, they're everywhere. They're in, this place is infested now. There we go. Almost have it. Do not mean to die. You know what? Once I level up, we'll, we'll go. I'm gonna end the episode once I get the armor and shield. Because we're at 31, uh, 31 when we need 35. Yeah! 32. So close. It's very nerve-wracking when you have to worry about two of them moving at the same time. Damn, I didn't get one of their coins. But it's fine. We have more than enough to get what I need. Two more. Two more kills. One more. This is it. Level me up, baby. There it is. Level nine. Now let's get the hell out of here. We ended with 38.11 gold. Or... Thirty-eight, eleven dollars Yes, I would like to buy this platinum armor. Yes, I would like to buy this shield. It was 1500 but we had 1800 left. Oh yeah, baby. Better armor. I feel strong. Let's remove- let's get rid of this stuff I don't need. The reason I'm selling is because eventually I'm gonna get armor, uh, or better armor than this, and, um, uh, and I'll need space, so you want to make sure you just get rid of that stuff. Okay, I think we're good, but I'm going to keep uh, grinding once I'm done with everything. So thank everyone so much for watching. On the next episode, we're going back to that cave and I'm kicking everything in there's ass. I'm going to destroy them all for, for insulting me. And then um, we'll be able to continue the, uh, the story. I just want to get my revenge first, and then we'll continue the story. I hope you guys are cool with that. But until then, guys, I hope we all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you all on Monday.